Hello, welcome to our Getting Started tutorial of Quick Surface. Quick Surface is a standalone application that allows you to bring in scan data like the one on the screen and using um, different tools to be able to reconstruct and create a perfect cut models which you can then export for further use in other application such as uh, CNC machining assemblies and creating sketches and so on. I will exit now the application and start from the beginning. When you download and install the software, it will automatically create an icon on, on the desktop or you can always start it from the start menu of uh, Windows. Let me start the software first. You will notice that it needs to be activated. To activate the software, just click on the link here or you can go to settings and activate the software. The licensing is based on the computer MAC address and other characteristics and it generates what we call a serial number. So what you need to do is just send us this serial number if you don't have an activation license and we'll return the correct one. How you can do this, you just can press copy to clipboard, then you can just switch to your email and send an email to support at mesh2surfing.com, right click here and paste the um, serial number and send it to us. We will return a code that will activate your software. Once you receive the code, what you need to do is just copy from the email, enter it to this field here and press activate. The software needs to be restarted and you can just can press OK, exit the application and start. Now your software is ready to be used for importing meshes and doing reverse engineering. What you see on the screen is the welcome screen and we recommend that you always click on the learn from tutorials where you can see how to do different functions. You can see the main toolbar with the different icons and the top menu. All the commands on the toolbar are available also through the menu. On the left side you can see the history tree where every feature that you create in the software will be recorded here and will be saved in the file. Let's begin by opening our first small part, which looks something like this. We provide files together with the installation, what we call example files. The example files are useful if you still don't have um, your own scan data and the files are in our tutorials, so you can use them and train yourself into the software. To access the example files, you can just go to help example files and here this will load them into quick surface. You can see that there is also a navigation cube on the top right of the scene and you can place the view into a different orientation. You can use these arrows to switch between the different views. Now let's talk about how you rotate the object. I'll place this in a um, front view. In order to rotate by default, you need to press and hold the middle mouse button and you can start rotating the object. To stop rotating, just lift your middle mouse button. If you want to translate the object, hold the control key and again use the middle mouse button to move the object on the screen. If you want to zoom, there are two ways. One is to use the mouse wheel, or you can just hold the shift and middle mouse button to zoom more precisely. When we speak about zooming, the software zooms in such a way so it keeps this part of the object under your cursor. What I mean with this is if I place my cursor here and when I zoom, you see that this stays visible on the screen. If I place it here, it will just zoom this area. This is quite useful in many applications. 
if I just zoom in too much and if I want to fit back the object on the screen, there are a few ways. The first one is you right click and select zoom to fit. Or if I zoom in, I can press simply the A shortcut on the keyboard. The other option is you highlight the navigation cube and you can see that it's accessible from here. If you want to customize the behavior, you can do this from settings, options, navigation. Now you can see what buttons we use uh, by default for rotation, translation and zooming. You can reverse the zoom orientation of the mouse wheel. It's really preferable. Uh, different people have a different preferences. And there are other options here, like how sensitive the mouse wheel can be and uh, how I can rotate with the arrows. You can select also predefined if you like uh, other packages some of the um, scanning uh, manufacturers like their software or you, you have any other favorite um, piece of software so you can adjust these navigation buttons based on your needs. What else you can customize is the display. By default it comes with the specific colors but you can put this into for example light blue preset and a white theme and here for every individual object you can adjust the default color. For example, if I want my mesh to be a little bit different, I can just select the color here and so automatically will apply. So every new mesh that is important will be with this color. You can always just press the default, which will set the theme to default. Or if I want to reset all of them, I can just press the default uh, from the um, drop down list and this will set all the colors to the default state. This is how you customize your colors. In order to bring your data in quick surface, you can use the file, import scan data or simply open. The file formats that we support currently are STL, OBJ, PLI as a meshes. You can import also step and IGIST file format just as a reference as a cut models. And you can also import a large scan data from LIDAR scans, for example. This is also quite convenient if you want to use Quick Surface to create um, cross sections and extrusions from the point cloud. Just I would like to say that we can import these point clouds, but we cannot triangulate, we cannot convert them into a mesh. So this was the very first beginning. Keep watching the tutorials on our tutorials page and you will be able to create your cut models efficiently and easy. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.